Yeah, All right, back, because it's about that time. Yeah. And got a little bit yeah. of Black Marjorie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Black Marjorie, baby. Black Marjorie. Oh. Now, you What's know, on? we would be in the black community. Yeah. 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 Remiss. Come on. If we walked all the way through the black market and did all this shopping with all these, all these different businesses and didn't get no haircut. Come on. I know thousands of barbers. Come on. But in order for them to come on, I had to go get the coldest. It's just my opinion. And a lot of other folks' opinion too. Plus my dog, a comedian. So that automatically bumped him up the list. Come on. Yes, and he funny as hell. Come on. And he and I knew him as a comedian way before I even knew about the barbershop. Come on. But dog be following my nigga on the gram. You'd be surprised the type of clientele that he got. Cause the work just speaks for itself. It's like these are the type of haircuts that you see and want. You ain't even give a damn what the price is. You, Baby, look, I'm gonna get one of these. <laughs> That's how cold he is. When bro. niggas show up with a picture? Yeah. When they ask yeah, for a haircut that they know that you did, yeah. that's when you're yeah. doing something right here. You give me. I put I put around. I Not put around. only yeah. that, he's so cold, bro. He's sponsored by these folks right here. They just, they've been looking out for him since the beginning. This bevel. Black on, right? Signature fade with the bevel blade. Mm. When they dropping your haircuts in wraps, Amen. you know you on to something, man. Amen. None other than V. Marcus Harvey. Yeah! Glory be to God. Glory be to God, man. Welcome to the Black Market. Man, thank man. y'all for having me, And congratulations on all your success. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Man, thank you, man. Hey, man, God bless the trap, man. You know what, man? I just want to say I'm proud of y'all, man. Thank you. I really am, man. Like, like you said, we've known each other for some time, man. And like to see what you guys got going on here is just like inspiring. I see how y'all affect like the whole country, whole world, bro. Like y'all affect the whole culture, and that's something that nobody really be able to like can really claim. You know, I'm, I hear you say a lot of times like they suppressing my numbers, but like the way that your name drops in the streets, bro. Y'all, hey man, <laughs> God bless the trap. We thank, thank you, Father you, God, for this thank blessed you. place. Let it continue to flourish. Let all things come to your glory in this place. We thank you in Jesus' name. We amen. Amen. Bless, amen. bless amen. the trap, bro. What's I'm up, glad bro? that you know the truth. Because yeah. the, the people, the people oh, need to hear somebody else say it. They think I just be saying shit to say shit. Bro, they really trying to, like you said, they trying to suppress the numbers. Yeah. They don't show the real. Yeah. The impact in the streets is real. Right. Yeah, right. bro. Yeah. We so far ahead of the game, we can't even hear criticism no more. Can't. That's We've why we had to open people. up the black market to let everybody know you can get some of this too. Clayton, man, shoot, Marvel ass, you know what I'm Come saying? On, man. Disney Plus. Heavy. Right. I'm over here like Disney. <laughs> <laughs> I subscribe, brother. <laughs> you in there, man? Y'all in there, bro? I, I rock with you. I'm proud to be here, man. Man, give yeah. us a brief intro. You was telling us how you first got into the game, but tell the people, tell the world, oh, man. Yeah. Introduce yourself, and all that good stuff. Yeah, um, my name is uh, Marcus Harvey. Some people call me the Marcus Harvey. Um, been cutting hair since I'm pretty much like 12 years old. Started off in the shop in Gwinnett County. Started off sweeping. I was a little fat kid in the shop. They used to call me Bookman, you know what I'm saying? Work. <laughs> Nigga, this, oh, bro, they used to be on my ass. Hey, Buffalo, but you ain't trying to work. You ain't trying to work. It's like 12 barbers in there. So I'm like sweeping up here, cleaning clippers, like making store runs, getting a lunch, all that stuff. You said like, this was in Griffin? No, this was in oh, uh, Gwinnett. Oh, Gwinnett, okay. Yeah, like bad. literally right from uh, down the street from uh, the theater where they have it over there. Like, okay, yeah. Like the next complex, it's crazy. So um, there's like a little trail behind my apartment complex. I go run, go check it out. You know, one day I saw this little kid sweeping up here and I was like, yo, that's my barber, he was the owner. I was like, yo, what, how can I get down and do what he's doing? I see y'all giving him cash. Bro was getting cash from everybody. You know, at the end of the day, they just get hit him with five, ten dollars or a haircut. So that's 12 barbers. So, you know, he coming out feeling all right. right. So I was like, yo, let me try that. So one Thursday, he let me come through. Worked there for like three, four years, man. And then randomly, eighth grade, my homeboy, AJ Tamplin. Shouts out to AJ. Uh, I was over at his house, man. And uh, we had these little Walmart clippers. And I, I 
attempted to cut his hair. It ended up being a baldy. It was supposed to be even. And then it turned into a fade. Are you and then it kind of came into another. And it just kept, it was, two hours later, it was a baldy. So pretty right. much that's where we, where we ended up <laughs> right at that. Right. So, you know, and then that was the start for me, man. He uh, let you cut him again after that? Yeah, now nah, nah, he, yeah, nah, he definitely trying to get me to get, cut his hair now. Right. True. Like yeah. now, I'm just saying, like in eighth grade, then. was back he then, a repeat back customer? Then I ran away from it at that point. Oh. I ran away from it at that point, but had to go back to, um, man, my mom got into a car accident my, um, going into my ninth grade year. So we had to move to Tennessee. And you know, I'm used to like getting like fire haircuts from like Atlanta barbers. And uh, we in this small town called Morristown. Shouts out to Morristown East. You know about it? He from Tennessee. Yeah, I'm from Tennessee too. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, from West Tennessee though, from Demar. Okay, cool, yeah. cool. Yeah, East Tennessee, right outside of Knoxville. Mm. Yeah. You know, you know what it is. You know what it is. My family, my mom. Yeah, we Everybody live in Knoxville. Everybody talks like this a little bit, like, "Hey, Harvey." You know, what I'm yeah. saying, say your last name a little bit, like, they, you know, how you doing with it? Jeet Jet. Hey, hey, I love you, <laughs> Harvey. You gonna run that football for us on Sunday, huh? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna run that a gap? Son, I got a lot of money riding on you. That's how they used to hit me with yeah. it, so. You know, wasn't no barbers there though. Like it was a small town, so there's like two barbers. One was like old time, you know, he drank a little bit too much, so he's giving cats a little smiley face oh, lineups. Oh, man. I wasn't letting him do me like that, and the other one was just too busy. So started lining myself up with some rusty clippers my cousin gave me. And then I started cutting cats in the um, on the team. Then it kind of started growing from there, then came back to Atlanta. Started cutting in Atlanta. And it was like, uh, I was at Georgia Perimeter. I was at the 13th grade, as we all know, GPC. So I started to go to Perimeter <laughs> College, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was doing more haircuts on more hours than I was like actually going to school. So I uh, was on academic probation to decide to go to Empire. And then from there, man, I was like, just obsessed with like just getting better. So started like working as an assistant, but I was cutting hair on Morehouse's campus. And that's when I started getting on my like, Chops, you know what I'm saying? So that's all it's kind of build up, you know. You've been working since you was in what the fifth grade, man. Listen, swear for you, not yeah. Actually, I, I made a lot of companies when I was in the fifth grade. I had a candy company when I was in the fifth grade, yeah. I had a lot of little businesses, yeah. you know, they was just little get rich quick, yeah. Scheme. Little, I, Ponzi, it was just, it was was just Ponzi, to get we, something, you know. Ponzi we need, yeah. It was Ponzi scheming, yeah. I was Ponzi scheming these kids, yeah. we was frozen cups, you know, yeah. You might want to, you know, you might have wanted something. You might want a Super Nintendo or something, hey. Yeah. Freeze that Kool-Aid. Hell yeah. That's but you know. now though, bro, you didn't, you didn't turn it into an empire. Man, that's, but that's a credit to a lot of people around me though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't turn into no empire by yourself, you know? But you put that work in though, I did bro. put the work in. You put that work in. And, yeah. And, and I think that's life. You pick up them skills along the way that you don't even realize you picked it up. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Like them, them barbers going in on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That probably play a part in why you got some comedy chops and do yeah, the stand up shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah, man. So everything you fly at now, you probably was doing it when you was twelve. You know what I'm saying? You always had an eye if you was a photographer. You was always making That's kids, real. you know, people your mama and them laugh when you was a kid, you know what I'm saying? Like I was doing that when I was twelve, y'all was doing that when y'all was yeah. younger. You know what I'm saying? You was always with cars, always fly, you know, I see I pulled up, I saw, okay. Okay, my guy moving, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> You know, just all these things that we've been doing since we were young, bro. Like, it's just like you get to the age where you just like start coming to the realization that's who you are, man. Like, and just like rest in that joint and like know that that's how fly you are in that space when you like really cultivate that uh, ability that you got, you know? That's real, bro. That's dead, bro. I feel like I got glasses on. I should have did that. No, do your thing, you man. Know? <laughs> you know, what I mean? glasses. <laughs> <laughs> need glasses for a prop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's how it is, nah, man. No, for real. Shoot, like, well, you know the barbershop, that's the center of the community. Yeah, Come bro. On, man. man, that shit could change your whole mood, man. The right cut, you might not have but a hot 10 or 20 left after that little haircut. Yeah. yeah. Shit, you, you still feel like, you know what I mean? You yeah. just change your whole mood. Yeah, yeah, like, the barber affects the client. The client affects the family. The family, the community, the community, the city, the city, the state, the state the region, the region, the country, the country, the world. You know, if a fire barber really get a hold of you, he can make you think you can do any and everything, especially if you see him being like dope at entrepreneurship. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like now my clients come to me more so like, not only are they know they're gonna get the flyest cut they've ever got, you know what I'm saying? Or the experience, but the conversation is gonna be elevated to something that like they ain't never seen before or heard. Like, you're gonna wanna do more work. You're gonna wanna put more work in after you talk to me like, 
Cause I, I'm doing this as a barber, like as a barber, bro. Like that shit be cracking me up, though. You know what I'm saying? But you know, as a as a shorty, you know the ultimate compliment you can get at the barber shop is from them old niggas that be in there playing chess. Mm -hmm. Like your haircut ain't shit if the old niggas don't be like, boy. Yeah. Now you looking sporty. Yeah, you look like looking something sporty. now, boy. Looking real looking sharp. Looking sharp. Well, I, looking see, sharp. I see, young boy. Oh, yeah. Do all that yeah. on you like that. So you gonna have to hire there. some old dudes just do. to sit around and compliment. I do. I, I think I'm gonna invest in that. I'm gonna invest in some old dudes just playing chess. You ain't gotta pay them a lot. Ain't got to. They like to buy old. But they like to get to yeah. the barbershop extra early in the morning. They can be the people opening it up. Yeah, they they open it up. The greeters. They 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 more on like, hey man, I just wanna hey. You know, they always got a they hand like that a little bit. Gotta bless you a little bit. <laughs> Pocket full of ones and five. Yeah. Got you out here, man. He's trying to make sure he can still feel it. <laughs> he can feel it all he is. That's that that rider. Hey, that man, rider get on him. You, stay, you stay so booked up. How, how can somebody going to watch this and want a market for cut, bro? Yeah. Can we do like a raffle or something where we can get a couple, bring you a couple uh, just randoms? Or, yeah. Because they, they, like, the people going to see you cutting all these celebrities and be like, oh, man, he ain't fucking with us. Yeah. No more. He got me right for the for the Hawkeye premiere. But nigga, you a celebrity. He is I know. A celebrity. But he got me right for the Hawkeye premiere. Yeah. Right. And he wasn't, he wasn't really available. I know. Shit was crazy. That's nigga. what I'm saying. I'm trying to see if we can get them squeeze them availability out of it. Hey, I can rock with y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all want to do. We can make it happen. You know I'm what talking about for like my fans. But or I some say shit. this. Hey, man, somebody, this. we, we want to transform somebody. Right. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> what I'm that. saying. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want we'll a nigga that just need a haircut. Yeah. Matter of fact, we're going to shit. And we'll do it for an episode. I'll be cutting. <laughs> we got a spot. We can put you in. That's what I'm saying. I'll be cutting while y'all talking or whatnot. And y'all do it. Yeah. Put it right there. We talk while y'all be doing your show. We tra transform that dude, you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah. Yeah, but don't come in here dirty. Nah, nah. Cause you know some cats be coming we'll in. We'll do it when you when you bring. Yeah. When you bring, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got yeah. you. I you got are, you. Cause I ain't yeah, gonna come on, yeah, man. Yeah, when you want to do when we do the one we were talking about. What we had said. Yeah. Man, we in there. Yeah. Bro, mm. I ain't when never the forgot. last time you did, this mm. was one of the. I ain't never forgot. Mm. One of the most mm. memorable I ain't never Marcus mm. Harvey jokes <laughs> I remember. For me, is the Family Feud joke. Okay, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Family yeah. food. Yeah. What's happening? That's my shit. I'm just like, right. you know, okay. man. You I know, like as that. comedians, we come from a time where your jokes was your calling card. Yeah. Motherfucker might not know your name at all. I mean, Mark, who? That nigga do the Family Feud shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. what? Yeah, yeah, be yeah, yeah. cut it out. Like, that's, yeah, the, yeah. that's the shit. So yeah. it's like. The devil. Yeah, 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 man. I appreciate that. I type appreciate of shit. that. Like, that, it just be shit like that in the game. That's like, that's the type of shit that I miss. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? It's dope, because I only see this man on social media. You know what I mean? Pandemic, hey, he was one of the dudes that popped in. So I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? We've got like, a lot of business we worked out together. We, we've been buying up old condemned kinder cares. Yeah. Really? And converting them Any into. Any old shit that used old, to be pop. Oh, man. We'd have done a lot of beautiful shit with Radio yeah. Shack. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> in Tuscaloosa, it's going crazy. Tell them about it. Come on, man. We got a jumping gym in, in, in an old Radio Shack. Yeah. And I didn't no know pad. nothing about it. Ain't got no shit. Pad, no. You go to like, cities where all the shit. These motherfuckers out here starting yeah. businesses yeah, without me. And I invited all y'all to the black mean, market. And we now this is going to be an hour episode. We tried to bring you in. No, you we, didn't. We sent the email. You tried to keep it. We sent it. You lying. I see you niggas in person all the time. It's bounced back, baby. I'm just telling you what. The, I know what happened. Because I asked him. I said, where you at? Nah, bullshit. Okay. Man, drop your social media so they hey, can follow you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got to hey, ask one more thing, though. Drop your social. Yeah. Drop your social. You got to just tell me. Yeah, the Marcus Harvey. Yeah, the Marcus Harvey on Instagram. Yeah, go follow me. Well, y'all got a motherfucking. Do you believe it goes? Yeah, sure. You've seen them. I know you're on the show. Do you got to say that? I've seen evidence. I've, you know, I've seen some shadow figures. Some What's things. a shadow figure? Okay, give me a better lead in to that, man. Tell them oh, about yeah, the ghost show. Oh, yeah, so I got show. a show Tell called them. Ghost yeah. Brothers. My, uh, my two other homies, Dalen Spratt. Shouts out to Dalen and Juwan Mass. We've had a, we have a show called Ghost Brothers on uh, Discovery Plus. Go check it out. 100 House Guests. We also got a show called uh, Fright Club that we do with Jack Osborne, where it's like a reaction show. And we'd be kicking it with like with him. That's some fire shit too. So. Shout out to Jack. I fuck with the Osborne. Uh, bro, yeah. I'm telling you, y'all gonna rock with uh Fright Club, man. Y'all gonna rock yeah. with yeah, Tommy Davis. To come on, on this motherfucker. Yeah, oh, that's nice. one. Kit <laughs> Sharon, you know. <laughs> Sharon, you know what I'm saying? So but I, yeah, man, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> that's my yeah. dog. That'd be hard. You know, he always sound like he's falling a little bit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Real. So yeah, but like, yeah, man, we uh we just like three black dudes who like go ghost hunting, bro. And you know, black folks say that. Have you seen any black ghosts? Shoot, we went to a plantation. Did you see any black ghosts? 
Nah, we heard Black Coast. We went, I wasn't trying to see them. You heard them? Yeah, like, they was knocking on the doors and stuff, bro. Swear for. Man, dead for. Oh, give me your list, your your, your dream clients. Ooh. Remember I asked you. Oh, dream clients. Now, in which way, like? Bring this shit back. Remember I said if you could bring this shit back. Which person? Okay, um, definitely Jamie Foxx. Mm. Yeah. They definitely Jamie Foxx, great, great storyteller. Um, I know his barbers. Shouts out to his barbers, but Jamie Foxx, I love to like, you know. Uh, yeah, he's just dope, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Obama. I want to get Obama right. Hell yeah. You want to get him crispy? Oh man. Why can't he be crispy? I want Obama to grow the beard out. I put that line on. You see what I'm saying right uh -huh. here? Don't push him back, Mark. Don't, don't push him back right here. Keep me straight up here, right here. Keep me right here. Keep him tight in there, fade that boy, get him in and out, push a button on him, you know what I'm saying? We ain't never seen him crispy. We ain't never seen him crispy. Let him wolf for a second too, so get the waves pumping, you know what I'm saying? Maybe we show him my GQ joint on how to get waves, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Gotta do that. And then, um. Talk him into it. Yeah, man, get the waves. Obama, tie it down, man. <laughs> tie it down, Obama. If you hear me, Obama. He watched this every so often. For the culture. Y'all yeah, laughing and shit. Barack Obama well, knew exactly this, what the 85 it. South show is. You, you know who else watches it? Nas watches y'all. Come on, man. Come and I'll on, tell man. You how, and I'm going to tell you how. How you know? I'm, I'm going to tell you how. Because like you said, you know, we all go back to like how far we go back, right? Right. And, and you know, before I started cutting, you know, we were doing the comedy together. We would always be at, you know, Make Me Laugh Mondays, you know, Cast Cafe, all these dope joints, you know what I'm saying? Like. And um, when y'all was really starting to pop, man, I was on tour with Nas. We were in either Hungary or Paris. And we was like, we ran out of stuff to watch. And I was like, man, I gotta let y'all see these guys. And, uh, and I, I just put, put y'all on. He's like, yo, these cats are funny. I, I fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? So he was rocking with Nas me. said that. Son, tell him. I, I was looking at the camera so he could talk. Oh, to okay. Him. I thought he was yeah, gonna yeah, walk yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like, yeah, that yeah, nigga yeah. his son? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, his yeah. son? No, no, no. I was gonna be like, ah, no, 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 no. Yeah, he did his shit. Nah, man, nah, but a lot hard, of people, man. a lot of people, man, like, and that's that. what I'm saying, like, because I see what y'all doing, man. And I see y'all's grind. I see how y'all, like, put people on, bro. And, like, like I said, like, I've always told anybody that I'm, like, cutting, because we have time to talk, like, Dame Lillard, man. I'm like, yo, you, you, you want that um, 85 South? I'm talking to everybody about y'all, like Clay, Steph, like whomever I've cut, man, I've cut like over like 70 celebrities. Just, I can't even really name them. Like literally all A-listers, B-listers, C-listers, B whatever you want to call it. Like everyday celebrities who go to their family and just like raise their kids. Any and everybody who's like the dopest person in their family, you know what I'm saying? Like I cut those type of people. But when I do, I be telling them like when we chilling, we in the shop. Well, the gallery with the Mussolari, when, when I had that joint, we have it on the big screen. We have y'all rocking in the back. Man, it's like, bro, That's the real. community rock with y'all, man, man. We rock with y'all, bro. Thank you know what it is. Come you on, already man. know. You already, you already, you know. already know. You know. You already know. No, but Nas, that's, we rock with Nas, yeah. too. I Nas definitely, rock come with on, man. bro. Like, yeah, yeah, man. Y'all dope, man. God's you son. a slave to the page of my rhyme. That's my dog. Come he got to come up here. He got to come up tell here. Tell him to come through. Come Son, come on up, man. Bro, tell me here. about these bevels that you brought, though, before we wrap it up. All right, so, um, dope story. Shouts out to Tristan Walker, uh, the founder of Bevel. Uh, me and Tristan met when, um, when Nas got invested into Bevel. He was doing the photo shoot, um, and G-Code, my boy Gabe, Shouts out to Gabe. Gabe is the dopest. Gabe is uh, Nas's right hand man, is champion. He was like, yo, we can't have Nas in no barber joint unless Marcus is cutting his hair. So they had, they flew me out. He didn't even have to do that because they was gonna get to some stand in to do it. I get in there and you know, just being me, being funny. I, I, I've already cut Nas, but I like get myself introduced to Tristan. Me and Tristan hit it off. And it was like, after that, hit it off with the, the second in command, Cassidy. And we like struck a deal, man. And I've been sponsored with them, like rocking with them since the beginning. So when they even started the Tremors, I was like right there with them on the development piece. But then when these came out, man, they flew me to China. And I stayed out in China for a week. I felt like Frank Lucas in that thing. Went to like the manufacturer joint, was on the, on the dry erase board. Like, nah, we need to do this, do that, do this, do that. And like, it's you just dope Chinese? to see. 
Yeah, I was like, I might have to have. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't do that. that. Like, Grace says you do that. Because you're not going to be able to go back. That's going to be right there. You can't bring that back. That's your fault. That's your fault. I'm I'm, 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 I'm just out here. I'm a guest. That's your fault. We're no, we're talking, like, we big in China. No, don't piss out China. We don't, no, don't want to do that. They love us, man. Where you think we get these cameras yeah, from? Yeah, I on, know. Man. And we, so, yeah, I was out there, man. Shout out like, to Toshiba. No, yeah, shout out to you. Hashitashi. Hashitashi. Stop. That's Hashitashi 2000. We ain't going to get no more PlayStation. Okay, but no, I'm saying, like, but nah, man, it was just cool. Like, and so it's dope to even see that, like, back, like that on the back from fade to finish. Like, I just remember, like, like telling Trish, you know, on the phone, I was like, yeah, man. And I just, I just said the line and he's like, hmm. And now it's on a box, bro. So, you know, I would like my face to have been on it. Cause you know, I got that look, you know what I'm saying? But it's still, your, your <laughs> essence is in there. You know, I, I always wanted to be on like a Duke box. You know what I'm saying? The wave box joint. You should. I mean, with I'm gonna do my shop, own, yeah. I'm gonna do my own, yeah. You got your own shop? Well, not no more right now. Well, you got the power. But I got the power. Open your own yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. I no got reason it. why you should. Yeah, yeah. At yeah. least some wave grease. Definitely. Well, I mean, con I'm connected with them right now. They what? got you, all that. They you got. You can't wave have your own grease. Nah. How about your own do rag? We'll talk about that. Your own yeah. trimmer. Nah. You can't do that. Nah. Will. Barber cape. Come out with a line of dope ass capes. I can. I can work with somebody on See? that. See, you feel me? Folks, yeah. Chairs. I know somebody about that too. Mm. High definition mirrors. Mm. We can figure that out too. You gotta have your own alcohol and the, shit. We do got that Circuit City did have a lot of old stuff. You got in some the razor bump cream? Come on, man. You did, yeah. oh, you, Black people that, shit. Yeah. That razor bump cream, they do have that too. That we does have that. But they ain't got the skin they got, shit. Yeah, they ain't got that. They ain't uh, got nothing with no cocoa butter stuff. infused in it. <laughs> Light, you, you, light, light, you can, light, you can light, you can lift it. Come on, bro. That eucalyptus is gonna overpower a lot hey, of man, time. Fuck it can take you about. Check you this out. Yeah. Though. You need to start selling diamond earrings. But you know what? I really am selling real talk though. Um, Studs. Cause like real talk. This is real, real. Uh, what I'm about to do. Um, I'm dropping a master class, like six, a six part class on how to become like a barber star, like how to work for one, like how to do contracts with like companies, how to like you know. Um, what kind of advice would you give to, you know, people who want to quote unquote be celebrity barbers? Like, there's some guys yes, out there that want to be in that's, the position that, that Marcus yeah. Harvey is in. So what kind of tips and advice oh, would you man. give to a barber? Uh, the number one thing is to be humble. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like, especially if you're dealing with a celebrity. You know, celebrities are celebrities. They're, they're always high end, high, you know, situations. So if you're not humble, if you can't be able to, like, roll with some of the punches and can't even, like, figure out how to, like, just add value in different areas. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be hard for you to be kind of continue to be a celebrity barber. I think that that's kind of why these cats kind of rock with me because you know, I always add something extra. Like it's always like the conversation gonna be, you know, funny, you know, or even enlightening. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna talk about some stuff that they gonna need to hear. You know what I'm saying? This is always right. some fly stuff. So like I would say number one thing for a young barber is get around some OGs to make you humble so that you can learn what you need to learn. And then, you know, just one at a time, man. Like, treat your clients in your chair like a celebrity. So yeah. when you get a celebrity in your chair, it ain't nothing. And you respect know. people's privacy. Yeah. yeah. Keep that people doing bring it. you around some yeah. nice shit, man. Yeah. You ain't got to talk about everything. And everything up. ain't to be posted. Right. Straight up. Right. Don't pull it. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's probably a whole little chapter. I had a barber who did that. Uh, I, I had, like, um, I had given him an opportunity to cut knives, right? And um, I was like, yo, bro. Um, just testing, I was like, yo, man, son ain't asked, he don't want nobody to take no pictures of him on this first cut, you know? You in that spot, you might be able to get become his barber because you in LA, I'm over here, you know, I ain't, I ain't flying out there every week. Because at first I was flying out there like, man, for like four months straight, I was like, every week I was back and forth. Wow. And I was like, yo, no, I'm putting him on, right? So I was like, yo, don't do no pictures, right? Man, I said, don't do no pictures and don't over talk. You know, keep them kind of like, let them just kind of fill you out. Cause that's another thing it has to be doing. They be trying to overpower your space. You know what I'm saying? You bringing them into your home, you want peace. You know what I'm saying? You don't want all that extra stuff. So I'm like, don't over talk. He's over talking. Takes a picture, posts it on the ground. And uh, Gabe, shouts out to Gabe, hits me up. He's like, yo man, what's up with your dude? This dude just hit me up. He was like, yo man, Marcus told me to like, if I ever um, need a nausea nice to cut, to reach out to him directly. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I said, humility, man. Like, wow. he would have he yeah. continued to have been his barber 
had that had that situation not you know been the case you know and so yeah. that's just how I look at it man just like be be one with it you know what I'm saying be real drop that social media again man the Marcus Harvey T H E Marcus Harvey like Marcus Garvey you know what I'm saying you can see my life the comedy uh, the kids the wife you know what I'm saying yeah. you can see the you can see the art you can see the relationships you can see the experiences man. I, w I live a wealthy life with no with no strong bank account right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no money. Getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lying ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But lying. Like, <laughs> no, I'm just. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, I'm I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? You know, regardless of what it I mean, is. At like, least I have like uh, I have a lot of people who like look out for me. You know what I'm saying? Like who show me love. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Frank in the back. You know what I'm saying? He shows me love, man. He's just got a lot of good people. You keep good people around you, man. You're gonna continue to do great things. So yeah, you a good person. So oh, yeah. that, you don't even know the blessings that's already coming to you anyway. Come on, man. You yeah. up? Yeah. Like, we've seen you in action, bro. We know the type of person you are, and that's why I wish you much love and success. My man, I know yes, it's your first time coming. Come on, here. man. Yes, sir. Don't you know where we at now? Hell no, let's do that cut, boy. Let's Black market is open. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go.